everyone. Welcome back to another day of Halloween Fest. Uh, one more day. Halloween. Another night. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got one more day until Halloween. Hell yeah. Absolutely. And we uh, we saved the, the, the largest one for last. Yeah. Uh, and some of you have already correctly guessed what it is, but that is for tomorrow. But for tonight, uh, what do we have here, Elliot? So remember the Dead Space remake that came out a few years ago? Right. Uh, this is the Dead Space demake. <laughs> okay. Um, so someone just took like just took one part of Dead Space, but like this doesn't take that long to to finish, and like right, they just they pretty much put the, they just put this one small part of the game and made it a PS One style survival horror game. Oh, so this is three D. Yeah. Okay. Well, interesting. I like. I wonder. Well, and let's get the game going. But I'm wondering why only part of it is this is it meant to be like a proof of concept maybe it's just demonstrating what the dev can do yeah that's before that's, they start putting their resume out to companies that want to answer them <laughs> so they have to make their own game and have a kickstarter to fund it because that's literally the only way any devs can make any fucking ground like that's uh, in that, today's climate that's definitely why i chalk it up to is like it's just like a way to like show like hey uh this is what i can do or yeah. Or they just have they just show off what they could do to like get another project they want to do like off the ground. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to make clear that like, that is not that is a no means of judgment call. Yeah. I'm just pointing out that it it just seems that for uh, indie devs to take off, assuming they don't just hit the ground running with an indie game like from the get go, that explodes in popularity for whatever reason, they have to make their names known at first by taking an existing IP in this case Dead Space. Yeah. And doing something with it to a point where it gets enough notoriety to put the dev's name on some sort of map, allowing enough eyes and ears to pay attention to what their original endeavors are. So, but, um, yeah, like, I, like, I do hope whatever, like, this, this dev has planned for, like, their future in game development, I do hope it thrives, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope so too. Although, all right, I'm gonna criticism right here, and I'm sorry to be this guy. <laughs> but if this is supposed to be like PlayStation One era, this FMV needs to be moving at like half the frame rate. Yeah. This this FMV looks too good, and it's moving too smooth. Well, this is <laughs> well, this is just ripped from the from the PS3 360 version or PC. That's what version, I mean. Yeah. So. But but uh, hey, listen, I can cr I can crunch a video to make it Sega CD quality. It ain't that hard. I was just saying, it's like a little more, a little more effort. <laughs> it's going to go the long way in uh, making the experience that more uh, authentic. Also, a quick flashing lights warning here. So yeah, uh, we did the original Dead Space yes. years ago for SGB. I don't remember what's that for a Halloween fest, like an old Halloween. It, fest. it I was. I want to say it was. It was. It was definitely it was, for a yeah. Halloween fest. How, how long? How, how long after October did it run off? Because there's no way in hell we did that all in October. I have no idea. I would have you to know. check. <laughs> I and would that, have to see, check. That, and that's ultimately why, just to go quickly into that, the reflective state, in case we haven't really uh, explained that. The reason why we went with this new format is because, well, I'm, I, I can't speak for everybody else, but I myself was personally getting tired of us doing one or two playthroughs that were appropriate for the month, but clearly went over to November or December yeah. because the games were just super long. Uh, and I just felt, yeah, I felt like we could be putting our, our 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 focus and attention on other games for the holidays, and not Silent Hill Four, <laughs> like <laughs> there's chains on my door, <laughs> uh, sort of spiel. So while this format is indeed uh, uh, more difficult to make content for because it's 13 smaller videos as opposed to one or two let's plays, I ultimately think this is for the best. It's just unfortunate that this Halloween fest was mired or marred by sudden fucking sicknesses that just put a wrench in all of our plans this yeah. looks much better though i have to say yeah I, I actually think this is pretty cute yeah i like i really do like what they what they did here okay so i'm using mouse and keyboard for this so well, you how's it feel it, i'm still getting used to it but like um you got like wasd um the you got the mouse and you could you could click the wheel to change yeah. positions 
Click the wheel. Huh. I would have probably, if I was playing this one, because it's not, uh, I probably would have mapped that to like one of the side mouse buttons to like, because in, in this game, you're dismembering the, the alien mutants or whatever they're supposed to be. The uh, necromorphs, yeah. But you also, you can determine if the gun is vertical or horizontal. Yeah. Uh, so I would personally have mapped that to like one of the side mouse buttons. That said, FPSs are to me the best way to play with mouse and keyboard. Because I just find you can't beat that kind of accuracy you can get with a mouse yeah. in a standard controller unless you're absolutely fucking crazy with the controller, which I know plenty of people that are. <laughs> but for a third person adventure, despite it not being that different, I have to play with a controller. Right. I feel that. And it's only because I can see my character model. Shit, start. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Where are you? Are you okay? I just, I just, like, I just like how they just, he just, they just took the cutscene from the original game just to put it here. But yeah. in a sense, because it is PS1 style, it makes sense. Well, that it, you're you're watching the playback of a video. Yeah. Again, I, I have to go back to what I was saying earlier. If they really What's wanted to be authentic with it, the frame rate needs to be at least two. <laughs> you know, like I, I want, I, I want these guys to be looking at me with the visual feed of a fucking potato. Oh Christ! <laughs> but like, it, like, but like, also like when you look at regular PS1 games, they don't, they can't like show like the cutscene where it has Isaac and they're also there's also this playing at the same time. So like PS1 style, we got we had to make them separate. You have to watch one and then resume with gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a nice detail because I, not that I think it'd be impossible on the PlayStation One, but it'd be very tricky to do. Yeah. Um, because I think of I think of Final Fantasy, right? And in Final Fantasy VII and eight and nine, okay, the entire PS1 trilogy of Final Fantasy games has those moments where you can still see your player character model, but the FMV is happening around you, right? like as you're moving. And I guess you can achieve it in that aspect, but you're not really doing anything with your characters in those moments other than just moving around and observing the surrounding or the, uh, changing environment. So to be able to achieve something like that, but still be able to play the game, I'd imagine is very difficult, if not impossible on PlayStation 1 or N64. No, no, it's definitely impossible on N64 because off the top of my head, the only game that I can ever think of that had N64 that had FMVs was RE2. Right. I'm, I'm struggling to think if there's any other N64 game that had FMVs. I think that's the only one. Yeah, I can't think of any. Because not even Mortal Kombat Mythologies had story beats, unfortunately. Like, it, it had the stills, but that's about it. Yeah, the stills just don't hit the same, though. No. It never could. Refresh your memory, though. Maybe you remember. Like, who played Dead Space for the channel? Originally? That was Matt. That was Matt. Okay, yeah, it was Matt. But um, no, I, we're, we're probably gonna put a card up here on the video just to link you guys to our original let's play. That, that's years ago. I don't remember how long ago it was. Uh, uh, we we were still living with our we were still living with our parents at that. Were point. we still living with? Yeah. What, what the folks? Okay. Oh wait, were we? I thought we were. Oh no, we were. I remember. Hold on. I'm going SGB plays Dead Space. Uh, like half the comments are probably gonna be when are you getting the second when are you getting the Dead Space two, or the this is twenty fifth this is twenty fifteen this was the this is the last year we were at our pro, uh, our folks yep because uh, Mark and I moved out in early twenty sixteen let that sink in uh, why what did this sink do <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, just want to make sure again like um I just I'm just like trying to make sure that like the audio levels are like good so that we can hear the game but also like hear you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I, I should probably uh, stand a little closer to the mic if I have to. Although we do have the backup audio track just in case. Yeah. Uh, so if I end up coming in too low, I'll just, you know, give you this one and that a little bit of audio bouncing. In. Yeah, that wouldn't be a problem. It's like we're right next to each other, except we're not. We're in a Discord call. Oh, shit. Oh. 
That didn't look right. <laughs> Methinks the thing uh, clipped through the ground or the floor or the wall. Now that I'm thinking about it. Well, how familiar are you with PlayStation N64 remakes of games? Um, I like, I dabble. Like, I def I really do, I do like seeing them when they're made because they can be really cool. Yeah. So, would, do you, would you prefer to play something like this on, like, a CRT? Possibly. Or, or would you rather just, like, keep it to the PC so that you don't have to have the hassle of setting up the fucking brick? Aesthetically, it would be cool. Yeah. But, but just for sheer convenience, I like having it here on the PC. Yeah, because, all right, so another question then this game that you're you're running the game is it just a is it, is it an exe uh yes it's an exe okay because my, my my genuine question that i would have is like is it possible to get this on like a ps1 iso file i and run it and run it through duck station so that you can put whatever the hell you want on it it definitely seems possible I guess it depends on the architecture of the game itself and whether or not it does adhere strictly to PlayStation 1 guidelines. Like it, it, it like you're able to like have like PlayStation a PlayStation controller to play the game. Like dead ass a PS1 controller. Yeah. Okay. So this game doesn't use a DualShock, I take it? Uh it can. It can. Okay, so at the very least it'll use analog, the analog controller with the DualShock. Yeah. You know, back in my day, there used to be an analog controller for the PlayStation that wasn't DualShock. <laughs> DualShock was the name of the vibration feature. Right, let me see. The only thing I remember about that controller, though, the, like the first round of analog sticks for the PS1, is that the, the analog nubs were sunk in. Uh, and they were not made of rubber. Yeah, it was, like, were, a, it was yeah, like a very were, hard plastic, I believe. Yeah, they were, just, they were just a hard plastic, like you see on the N64. Right. But then they got immediately replaced by yep. the DualShock One. I think about a year later, and I remember <laughs> the first game we got with it was the was Crash Bandicoot Three. Right. And then, like the first game I remember playing, I believe was actually the Japanese version of Dragon Ball GT Final Bout. I don't know if that had DualShock support though, because that game was in '97. I want to say, if not '98. I forget. Maybe it got support. I'm not looking it up because cowards do that. <laughs> But no, like dual, like DualShock like controller vibration was like a, a huge oh, eye opener shit. to me. Oh my Hello. god! Well, thank thankfully they don't seem to be very aggressive. No, not at all. Yeah. They bleed more than fucking Mortal Kombat four characters. <laughs> Actually, like the blood splattering effect does kind of remind me of just Mortal Kombat four. Yeah. Like it's it's like it's like extremely simple. Oh fuck! Yeah. Hi. Actually curious as to like what is considered maybe one of the goriest games on PlayStation One. On the PS One. Mm. Yeah, like Resident Evil's got to be up there. I would at say least so. Resident Evil Two. I would say because so, Resident yeah. Evil Two can yeah Resident Evil Two gets pretty grotesque. I want to say there is this old feudal Japan setting game where you can just eviscerate your opponent too, and I'm trying to remember what the fuck was it. It wasn't Tenchu. There was a game called that was gonna be released but got canceled, uh, called Thrill Kill. Thrill Kill. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what happens there. <laughs> it, it's actually it's actually a, um, a four player arena fighter. A four player arena fighter on the PlayStation One. Yeah. Oh. Like if Can't you imagine could... what a game like that does to a frame rate. Uh, from the ROMs that you can find online with the near finished build. It's not bad. Right. Like, it's okay, not... so it's just out there for the public to just download and see for themselves. Yeah. What ended up getting it canceled? Uh, violence. Really? Uh huh. Oh, you see, now I'm curious, and maybe this is something we should play for next year's Halloween Fest. Oh, I think we could. Yeah, Thrill Kill. Yeah, Thrill Kill is a canceled fighting video game developed by Paradox Development. Yep. For the PlayStation. Originally intended to be released in 1998, the game's plot involves 10 people who all get sent to hell after dying on Earth and are forced by Maruka, the goddess of secrets, to fight to the death for a chance at reincarnation. Yeah, you're right. There's just a straight up. There's just a straight up. 
Are they in dominatrix gear? <laughs> <laughs> thrill kill. That has all the fucking energy of naming your character Thrill House. <laughs> Fuck out of here, Mill House. No one's buying that. Well, I'm out of ammo, and um, are you out of are you out of options? Uh, kind of, yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna see. Okay, if I hold can... on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna juke him. I yeah, ju there, yeah, there. I juked him. I juked him. Yeah, I was gonna say because it looks like there's a bit of wind up to the frontal attack. So if you like debate them into attacking once, you back up and go around them. Yeah, they definitely run faster than you though. Ah. Oh. <laughs> now I'm sleepy. <laughs> you did just kind of dead ass fall like you had a sudden bout of narcolepsy. Yeah, but that's actually kind oh, of where shit. that's actually kind of where it ends in a bit. Cause, Does it? <laughs> Cause like I I couldn't like actually refill my ammo like at all at that point. So. Oh, so you just have limited ammo like that ass. Yeah, and no huh. no health recharge. But. Yeah, I think I think that's a that's, I think actually that's a good place to end it really because like it's it, it's exactly what it is you know it's like it's Dead Space but with a PS One style. I think in this case. I would also like to see uh, hear recommendations from the audience. Yeah. Of others like similar, not necessarily similar style because people will take the warning too specifically and I will never get answers. <laughs> but similarly styled D makes it doesn't even necessarily have to be like an uh, of an existing IP or a license. Yeah. But like horror games or otherwise that have this old school aesthetic or at least designed to look like an old school game. I remember a couple of nights ago where I was talking about Shipwreck. Yeah, and I would I, shipwreck is something I would like to play for Halloween Fest. It's long though, like it's a yeah. long game. It's a like, very you, long game. Yeah, yeah. It, it takes multiple sittings, and you need and you need to do a lot of shit to get like the true ending, or at least like one of the better endings. It's a great time though. Yeah, uh, just from what I've gathered from my friends playing it. But if you guys know of any other like, similar style game that you think would be right up Halloween Fest as Alley, that's short. <laughs> <laughs> please keep that in mind. Yeah, please keep that in mind because we appreciate all the suggestions that we got when we asked from the Patreon. But a lot of people suggested games that were way over a few hours yeah. that four people with different schedules couldn't feasibly do in the allotted time and that's it, unfortunate but I guess that's on us for not clarifying enough or I don't know maybe people are just stupid and they don't read <laughs> <laughs> you know either or I can't judge too hard I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player <laughs> uh, but like, all right, well, ne like next time we'll have subway surfers on the right side of us so that you be so that you can make sure that like you're still watching subway surfers yeah there's like a thing that like people are like they put like something completely unrelated to keep the the viewers' attention. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like to have a little more respect for my audience, even if some of them might be goldfish. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Put it in the docket for later. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to it. Yeah. All right, but we're gonna call it a wrap here for our the, the penultimate night of Halloween Fest 2024, folks. Tomorrow is our grand finale, and. What a grand finale it's going to be. Our, <laughs> You'll our see by the video. Literally our longest video on the channel. On the channel, yeah, and it's not even close. <laughs> like Mario Party wishes it could be this long. Yep. Uh, but uh, before we head off, though, let's do some more patron shout-outs. Again, thank you so much for helping support this channel. It means a lot to us. Uh, Elijah Aldrich, Rezon Ace, Morgan, Sun Gohan, Jack is back, Hellfire Revenant, Aiden Smith, Spacious Wheat, Neo Lab, LOLY, Ryuga Kiryu, and Jacob Vester Graham Cow. All this and more patron shout outs at the finale of Halloween Fest 2024 yep. tomorrow evening. Yeah. And with all that said, folks, Elliot, thanks again for showing this off. Anything else you want to say before we wrap up? Boo. No. Boo. Oo 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 ooga booga. Right, you know, it's, it's a lovely night. I think I'll go for a walk. <laughs> and um, also, if you guys want to play this as well, there will be a link to the game in the description as well. Okay. What are you looking out for the others? That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> go watch our old uh, uh, Dead Space. <laughs> yeah. 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 If you if you if you want if you if you want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> we can't we Have can't tell you what here. to do. Have a good night, everybody.